Hello, and welcome to the sea. Please close the door behind you. To select your experience, please motion towards one of the four sounds that you hear. The Siege, or Sonically Emitted Environment Generator, is an interactive sound installation. It reacts to movement and creates soundscapes that are shaped by the user. When one steps into the Siege, they are prompted to select from four different programs to experience. The experiences range from manipulating the type of environment, to changing and creating pitches, to completely controlling the events of music. These programs can sometimes cause psychological effects, such as tactile feelings and relaxation, to dizziness and anxiety. After being in the Art and Technology program at The Ohio State University for four years, I wanted to produce something that would be interactive, entertaining, and monumental. But I wanted the work to deliver these traits in a non-aesthetic way. I'd always been interested in music and its psychological effects, so I looked into sound art and music technology. This led to over a year and a half of research and development of techniques in audio production and creating software algorithms. Though the core of the siege is its sound production, I did have to think about the visual presentation of the project. I needed to complement the non-traditional medium of sound with a non-traditional aesthetic that would be completely functional. Because the impact of the sound is a priority, the users could have no visual stimuli, so I would need to conceal them in near darkness. To this end, I designed a large room which would encase the user and facilitate the audio package best. Oh, you know what? It's backwards. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just the fact that the room would be made of light and rigid materials, so transportation and construction could be done easily. Good. The custom frame is several pieces of thick PVC pipe, hand cut and fitted to be mounted to the floor. Bolted to the frame are several sheets of isopolycyanurate, or foam board. These sheets block out light and provide soundproofing. On top of the foam went carpet padding. The padding added an unusual appearance and a soft textural quality, while at the same time masking the support materials and providing more soundproofing and integrity. Due to the low levels of light, an infrared camera was the best solution to track movements. The camera would interface with a G5 Mac computer running the audio-video processing software MaxMSP Jitter. Using custom algorithms, the IR feed would be converted and analyzed. When motion is detected, specific parts of the program will activate and change based on the type and or degree of motion. Keeping with the unique properties of the Siege, the sound system is designed with power and delivery in mind. A 500 watt JBL subwoofer provides the low end impact and intensity. Bass shakers then complement the sub. Um, the bass shakers basically just completely vibrate the, uh, the floor. Um, yeah, uh, they're just meant to, to shake the hell out of you. The 3D sound is done with four sheets of polystyrene suspended from the ceiling. On the backs are small transducers similar to the bass shakers, but used to produce higher frequencies. The effect is one of slight confusion and curiosity because the user hears sounds but only sees sheets of white plastic instead of the typical speaker cone. In addition, he or she can touch the polystyrene and feel the sound without consequence. So, what did you think of the sketch? Um, I had only listened for it, I wouldn't know what to do, but <laughs> I got it there and I figured it out. Oh, I think it was really great. I like the fact that you can just move and sounds go back and forth and pretty interactive. What did you think of the scene? Uh, it was pretty cool. It was pretty crazy. It was pretty loud. I had no 
idea that you move and then you kind of flow with your movement. Or you move, the louder that it got, that it was reactive and interactive to the viewer. And I liked how it had options of different ways, different motions, and it made different things happen. It made me like start sweating a little bit. What did you think of the siege? I liked it. Very um, interesting because you can interact with it. It almost is like it has a life of its own. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like a it's almost like a force. I had no idea what it was gonna be when I went in there. I liked it a lot. Just the salads were really good. Walk around, there's a lot of noise. What did Seamus think? 